Oh, come oh, on! Damn. What? Hello, Pusey, and now welcome back to more Nancy Drew, uh, Danger on Deception Island. Hmm, a cairn. Uh, so we're exploring these secret tunnels. And, okay. um... Oh, uh, okay. I do remember this. We need to pull up the fucking, uh, directions for because of the... Uh, we don't need that yet. No? No, that's not yet. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Anyway, this is basically just showing that... Camping gear that is goes the under the store? Right yeah. Uh, we can't actually go in there yet. They won't let us. Oh. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, the, the little blocking sequence thing. And this is where you gotta pull up the... Well, not yet. We still right. haven't gotten that far yet. No? No, because... So then what's this whole blocking sequence for again? It, this is basically just walking to the lighthouse. Because like normally we bike to the lighthouse, but this is how to get there underground. Oh, okay, right. And this is where the other half of that door puzzle thing is, right? Yes. Another cairn. So that's four that we've seen. This is this is where we would need the map, but we can't actually access that yet because we're not supposed to know about that yet. I, I have no idea what any of these mean. I don't either. I mean, obviously there's some sort of maritime symbols and whatnot, and I guess we need to do a few different puzzle things, but I don't know. We need more information, basically. Y yeah. Perfect. That's... Uh, how do I open this? Uh, there it is. Right? I think. Ah, there we go. Okay. okay. Um... So now, to transmit this, uh, we're asking telephone number, right? We're supposed to give our telephone number. So let's see, ours. Uh, is 555-3739, I guess? No, ours is this. 555-34... 4399. 4399. Okay, so 555-4399. Send, right? Yep. All right, and now she should give us a phone call. Right, and Hello? then... Hello, Nancy. There's something Hilda else she wants us to do for Hilda? her, right? Hilda yeah. Swenson? Easy, girl. <laughs> Not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsors. <laughs> How did you know my name? Where there's a will and a satellite internet connection, there's always a way. <laughs> I mean, shouldn't she be kind of glad that people know her name? I guess Being so, yeah. A, you know, detective and right. of some renown solving interesting Everyone cases all the crazy, time. Yeah. But you don't seem crazy. People think what I want them to think. But let's get on with it. We may be running out of time. I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. We will? No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me, someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! We can't turn this up anymore, can we? Because it is a little quiet. Uh, not without it echoing. Dang. All right. Anyway, uh, we read this uh on the videos that weren't recorded. But here, if, if you want to read it, just pause. It's funny. It involves Hannah and miscellaneous mis like stuff she gets into. Basically, everything your cousin Hannah's talking about from back at home. Right. Okay. Left you some coordinates. Uh. Some of the numbers are replaced by letters, and we gotta figure out what the letters are. Um, I don't really care about figuring this out again, so do you think you could just look up what the coordinates are? Uh, we we took a way too much longer trying to figure this out when we were recording. Yeah, well, I, when we were fake recording previously, we actually went through and manually solved every single one of these answers. Yep. Um, I don't want to do that again. I don't care to do that again. It's really it's tedious, tedious for really no reason uh number of nuns running around snake horse harbor idea the buoy it's good number of isoface buoys running just dollars yeah, I, yeah. I just need the yeah, just give me a second i'm taking a uh let's see there are four nuns which by the way in this context a nun is a red even numbered buoy that marks the left side of a channel leaving a harbor i don't know why that specific thing is that but 
That's what that is. So... Uh, just give me the coordinates, man. Uh, okay, the new coordinates in entirety are North 48. North 48. 42. 42. 485. 485. And then West is West 123. 08735. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, uh, buoy number eight is the one that has graffiti on it, and there's only one isophase buoy. An isophase is a pattern utilized by some lighted buoys where the light is on and off for equal intervals. So, like, it's on for a second, blinking, and then off for a second, blinking. Uh... Jenna charges three bucks for her cup of clam chowder. There are five cans in the tunnel. And that's all the numbers you need for the coordinates. Yep. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. What am I supposed to do? That should have taken you to the uh, waterproof transmitter. I hope you like poems. Right? Hmm. Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil. This is where when you're basically near we got it, to last time. What's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. Not that I'm complaining, but wouldn't it be easier if you just gave me whatever it is you want me to have? Or I could simply give it to you. You might just turn around and toss it away. But if I make you earn it, you'll feel like it's yours. And you Which I still it. feel like is now, kind of dumb, where yeah. Was I? Ah, it, it's just making the thing more... Found. Tedious and whatnot. We're a detective. We're trying to figure out what's going on because something fishy on, is going on. Oh no! For please don't hang up. I've got so right. many questions. <laughs> so now we kayak out to. No, now we go back to the tunnel. We do. Yeah. So the, we we got to go back to the anvil-shaped rock, and now we need the directions for that. And I don't remember. Oh, right. We got a port star bound, port star bound thing. Right. Right. Okay. Are you ready to apologize to me yet? Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Nope. Well, actually, you're... Jenna, is there something you're not telling me about that tunnel I found? My family has always denied that Shanghai ever took place in Snake Horse Harbor. Why? Because it did take place. And my great-great-grandfather, the man who built this place, he was a big part of it. I'd always been told that the tunnel he and his cohorts used to kidnap people had been filled in. And Aunt Iris said nothing to me about that trap door you found. If word gets out about that tunnel, the truth about my great-great-grandfather will come out eventually, too. I just wanted to spare my parents' feelings. Well, thanks for telling me your uh, heartfelt story. Now give me some you clam know, chowder. Your clam <laughs> chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Hmm. Mmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at I think Nancy just gets free food whenever she wants. I mean, Hi, Nancy, how's it going? Cool. It's been yeah. fun talking to you. Later, Gator. You again? See you around. Watch out for Kate. Right. Anyway, back to the tunnel. And, there's your... and here there it is. More coordinates. I should have known. This is where the coordinates for the transmitter are, and this is where we stopped last, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it was on this screen. It was as I was taking a picture of it. And I realized, oh. oh. Yeah. Well, this is where, okay, so now we have caught back up to where we were. So so everything past here will be fresh. Completely fresh. We have never played it or seen it before, minus stuff we've already kind of stumbled onto, but don't know enough about, like, that one weird puzzle down in the, uh... Yeah. So, but this is where we were. This is the exact screen that yeah. we were on. So, we stopped. go ahead and get a picture or I already got whatever picture. you got of that. And now we take those and put that into the, wa the waterproof transmitter thing, right? Uh, Isn't that what this is? We're just putting it in the GPS. Here we go. Here we go! Whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of... Mario stuff. Real quick, can I just say that I think it's kind of silly that Chris Pratt is going to be the voice for the animated Mario in the movie, rather than the actual voice actor who's played Mario for the th past 30 years. It is very silly, Char yeah. Was, uh, Charles, Charles Martinet. Martinet, thank you. Oh yeah, I don't know if anybody else caught that, but on the left there, passing back, it says Elvis was here. Wait, what? Yeah, really? Go, uh, keep going back, and then it's on the right-hand side wall there. I think that's what I said. Yeah, back. You passed it. Uh, 
There's gonna be any left. Oh, yeah, there it is. Elvis was here. Interesting. Okay. All right, that's a new waypoint. And we have to manually kayak there, don't we? We probably do, yes. Oh, was that the area we could finally, like... we never been there. That's the place we have yet to be. Yeah, but the, the, the area past the buoys or whatever, can we kayak there now? Uh, maybe. Or was that the other beach that we... We can we can never come kayak past them. Well, I mean, we could, but, but it, yeah, we'll get lost. See you in a bit. Well, I mean, there was, right no, there was that specific uh, one area over there where we can't kayak past it until we got the coordinates for it. Is that, 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 was, that was the beach that we already went to. Oh. How that, is this not that I don't, yet? I don't know. We must have... Are we just too fast? Missed something that triggered it or something, probably. But mm. it, it'll probably trigger again sometime soon. Maybe. But yeah, I definitely remember that having melted by now. Because it was by the time we got to the telephone number, that I'm pretty sure had melted, didn't it? Last time? I think so. Okay, we're here. I guess you use the thing. What's that? Uh, something. What did... Really? Yeah. We're... Oh. It's a box? Binoculars? Okay. What are we looking for? Also, why are these binoculars in a box well, that... Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm getting predictable. This really will be our last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the whole stretch. I'm not getting any kind of explanation? That's not fair. You mean I'm never going to get any kind of explanation? Oh, that's not fair. Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. The problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything, we wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat in the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. One more thing? One more thing. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the sad ones, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottle. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you... Keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. Man! I feel cheated. Yeah. I feel okay. like we should have gotten to meet the mysterious mayor woman of the channel of State Wars Harbor or whatever. Whatever. Yeah, it would've been cool, but what can you do? Lame, Nancy. Lame. Uh, okay, so where the... Oh, okay, we need to go to uh, the whale we... world. Right. And take a look at the boat? With the, the, the ship in the boat. Yeah. Oh. What? I don't know. That's just what she told us to do. It's just a boat in a bottle. That's what she told us to do? I know, but it's just a model of a boat in a... Uh, it, oh, um, um, okay. What? So... What? Are you for fucking theories? Hmm. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, I guess... Well, I guess I'll go to the cafe, talk to people, maybe, I guess. Did he maybe he's out there for lunch or something? Maybe that's why he's out? Maybe. Don't the... You again? See you around. Buttons or yeah, the, the, the clues kind of point in his direction of being the culprit behind it because he's the one that the he's the one who has the lock to the lighthouse. He, so he would be the one who would be in the lighthouse. Technically, the one who probably attempted to drop that rock on us. Right. So he shoot us away. He had the code for the lighthouse in his book. Right, which was the lock on the front door. Yeah. Uh, he disappears semi frequently. He's untrustworthy of you in a bit. I'll strangers. Right he's uh. 
vying for power because he's running for office of some sort, isn't he? I don't remember what, but that's still not. That, what the hell? Okay, that was supposed to have melted, right? It really, it, 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 yeah. It's I don't to, remember what was in there, but I remember being. It was like fish. fish. Yeah, it was something important about fish. Wait, did it, hold on. Did I ever call Casey Porterfield again? I, mean, I don't remember if I did. Uh, no. But I didn't think we needed to because I don't remember what the significance of calling her was. I don't remember either. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before about the driftwood. Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that trip... Oh, would okay, so we do... Okay, all right. I forgot, I forgot to call them back after right. identifying it. I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your... Right, because there was that driftwood of SS well, something on it. Right. I, just, I thought I already did this, but it must have been on our fake recording session. It must have been. But that's all right. Okay, so now we got that squared away. Now we should be able to go back to Katie's boat and find the... Now it should be thawed, right? Like, we had right. to call them for it to thaw. Right. Uh, it, it's significant because it's something about the fish uh, inside. It's a very specific fish. Um, I don't think it's from the area. It's, like, the, one of the key things about it. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, because there's water, there's water on the floor now. Yep. No. No? But there's... Yeah, I know. That was there before, too. But it looks like there's... Whatever. Okay, well... Well, let's go to Real World, see if that fixed it. Hope it did. Sorry, I can't open this establishment until you make a phone call. <laughs> you have to call someone completely unrelated. You, you specifically. Yeah, yeah. Call Everyone someone just... Welcome, but you, just, you... You gotta call this other person. Completely unrelated. Uh-huh. <laughs> nope. They called him back. If we actually have to go kill like an hour's worth of time, I'm gonna be upset. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy <laughs> Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor. About a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. I knew it was too good to be true. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up. I remember this Not possible. conversation. I vaguely do as well, yeah. Uh... What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I have been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. Well, was there anything unusual about that was ship? Was there anything unusual about yeah. that ship? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? Please, tell me everything. Nothing to tell. After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. Why did the ship sink? Why did the ship sink? Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. Mm. What? I said, I just <laughs> got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. <laughs> I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machines. I appreciate Casey, even if he's not always necessarily a... Uh... Wow, look at that. It's open now. Literally just had to take a phone call. I'm going to throw your chair through your window. 
Literally just had to take a phone call. There's okay, so what? On Hold on, wait, what? No, what kind of weird ass subliminal messaging shit is this? What? <laughs> no, what? Uh, so, so it's a trident W thing, a cross, and the star. All right, trident plus star. Trident. Which, if you think the other two symbols and the star, and you shift them around a little bit, it kind of looks like the <laughs> communist Russia flag. Yes. Emergency room. Lost any blood? Only broke two fingers. Uh, Bookshelf for the family around, talking a couple fingers. I'm not sure how I'll make it. In. I messed up my memory, but they'll be fine. I think I'll be very impressed when you see the bookshelf. Much love from your favorite handyman, Dad. Uh, Spider Space, I thought you might find interesting. It's okay. Bomb back. Bomb at Bombeck dot lab examples royal. Okay, so, let's see. Bombeck up at the top, right? Yeah, Royal Flush Saloon and Snake Horse. The royal Flush Saloon. Of course. Well, I think that okay, so this is probably the hint to the 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 Royal Flush things we needed to do, which we already solved, right? Because we can get access to the tunnels, right? So, honestly, that was unnecessary, but oh well, at least we did it. Trident. Which, star or cross star, right? Just try to cross star, yeah. And you need the malice to be over the specific uh, ones. Where's the star? Um, try just matching these to the trident. Um, I mean, hold. On. There's the trident there. Can I click the trident? Hold on. Maybe I click on the star. star? Cross, I guess, since. Well, but it's something. Okay. Oh! Hi. Um. What? <laughs> hey. Oh, that probably. that That's probably the dead end. Don't we have to get back on kayak now? <laughs> yeah, I know, there's a lot of back and forth with this. Too much, okay? Just a, a little bit too much. I, I was done with it after the clamming thing. All this to open up a thing in the caves. It is so much effort to... L listen, so... I, I don't like calling it shanghai and whatnot, but I guess that's the name for it. Well, it's because they take them to Shanghai. Oh, right. It, but it, it was essentially slave smuggling. Yeah. Or slave trade smuggling or whatever. Anyway. Uh, um... <laughs> um. Uh oh. My gosh. Wait, what? The whale. Wow. What? Okay. Someone's trained her. She's not wild at all. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Um. Maybe she wants to play catch. I mean, cute. Okay. That... Okay. That piece um... of driftwood I found must have come from a container just like this one. For sure. But why are they here? Very good question. What's in them? Does it matter? Probably not. What? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, but why? I didn't know there were harnesses for whales like this. I didn't know either. Interesting. Firestone. Those must belong to Katie. Why are they here? I wonder if that means that Katie is the culprit. No. It... Like no, that... no, 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 no. Because her gloves have been missing since before we got there, right? Have they? Yeah. That that was one of the first things that she told us about because they were sitting right there in the closet on the, um, the, the the frozen fish thing which has by this point melted why do they melt I'm still I don't know no I also I guess I, I, I guess but it's a it's a it's a mini freezer like I don't know. also why is there a bunch of boxes of what appear to be like modern shipments of frozen fish um just sitting here to feed the whale 
Why is the whale here and not out on the channel where everyone's been saying that it is, though, causing trouble? Uh, so this is probably where they were training the whale, whoever is the culprit. Okay. Which... What if it was our friend? I, that, that'd be one hell of a twist, I'll give it that. Yeah. Hello? Hi, Nance. We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. But what? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here, it's not wild at all. It's been trained. This is the first time Bess and George have called I me. Yeah. I in anything. In yeah. And it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave. And in it was this harness type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? Wait, we have trained orcas for the military? Yeah. Orcas? Yeah. Dolphins I've heard of, but orcas? I, I did. Okay, I guess what purpose? Or should I say... Porpoise. Uh -huh. ah. Piece of driftwood I found. Do you think somebody trained the orca to dive down to that shipwreck and retrieve whatever the White Chapel Dawn was carrying? Casey, the librarian, did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling. But he never said that what it was valuable. smuggling. Yeah. Also, oh, how are you gonna train a to whale to well, dive down and pick up stuff from with the scuba gear? What? A pair of they were dived down with it. Uh, 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 oh my gosh. Hades behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Mm -hmm. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. Well, I, I hope it's not Katie. But I mean, I mean, honestly, that would be a pretty good twist. A uh, little bit, yeah. Like we we spent all this time defending her, and then it turned out to actually Katie's be her. Gone. Oh, no. Really? It's Katie. Oh, come oh, on. Damn. What? But... She ditched us. Oh, son of a... Okay. She ditched us. Can we call her? Can we? Do we have her number? I, I, I don't, don't know. Think we do. No, we don't. We... Huh. I mean, I guess technically her number is... Son of a... Okay, like, well... Her number's right well, now what? You want to try calling her? Whale watching tour? Sure, yeah. Five by five. I didn't catch the number. Two, Two seven seven four. four. No one is available to take your call. Please call back. Well, that's not the uh, wrong number message. So, uh, did that sound? off to it, you? It did, yeah. Like, that doesn't sound like an act. No. That's not that was... that sounded like a, peer, a person trying to imitate their automated yeah. voice. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Um, oh. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Okay. You again? I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Uh, well, it's... Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. Did we say that? Because he's already well, kind of, like, against Katie, right? What if it turns out not to be Katie? Like, I know she's, set, she's pretty suspicious right now, considering she ditched us. And those were her gloves down in the mm -hmm. thing with the orca, and... And uh, supposedly her boat had been vandalized? I, I know what the significance is. Those fish, are the, the, the ones that they're feeding the orca, whatever, those are the those same fish that melted... Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're Katie. right. She's talking about having gotten parts for her boat and whatnot from a friend, but we know the boat parts were stolen from, from the, here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Through the secret it. tunnels. Uh, and wasn't she also the one that explained to us what Shanghai was? Yeah, no. Or was that him? That was him. Okay. <sighs> but wait, how would she get into the lighthouse? Because he had the code for that. If she took the tunnels, she would have to get into the lighthouse somehow, right? Oh, yeah. And as far as we know, she's always just been there on the boat, yeah. working on it, trying to fix it. Yeah. So, even though it's suspicious, what if it's not her? Right. What if somebody kidnapped her on her own boat? Hmm. Well, let's let's say the second option for now. I really okay. need to get out to where a boat went down five years ago. Was there a third option? It looks like you might have been able to scroll down a little bit. No. Uh, Pause about someone is using an or that that orca to. Secretly recover contraband from the ship. You're like, oh, 
Well, it, it looks like Nancy really wants to accuse Katie right now. Well, she's the prime suspect. I mean, yeah. <sighs> it's possible that somebody is using that orca to secretly recover contraband from the shipwreck. Somebody, as in Katie Firestone. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. I can't not until I know for sure what's going on. Because I, I don't. Well, yeah, they won't do anything. I don't have proof. Because, like, everywhere don't else. Have proof. Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. All right, don't you hate I, Katie? Wouldn't I you want. You told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason. Oh, yeah, don't he I'm also offer. You, Andy Jason's your only hope. Uh, something mm -hmm. with a boat tour or a I mean, also a whale watching tour. Yeah. That I went on, actually. Oh, yeah. Wait, did we go on it? I thought we just won it. I don't we know. We won it and we went on it. I don't remember the tour that well. Hi, Nancy. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? Katie fixed her boat and took it out. She may have gone out to the site of this old shipwreck. In any case, I'd really like to catch up to her. And you'd like me to give you a ride? Uh, just partway. Just partway. I'd like to try to sneak up on her. Sneak up on her? Really important, I can explain on the way. I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please, this is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious, there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Cool. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'll be waiting right here. All right. Well, Thank it's you. It's only foggy for some reason. That's not her boat. No. And it's also not at the bottom of the sea like the Casey said it should be. Well, wait, is this a... I think this is a shipwreck boat, isn't it? Maybe? Or maybe not. I mean, it looks like it definitely could be, but equally could just be a regular cargo boat. I mean, it's not made of wood, well, actually. Good. Well, well, no, but the crate's Oh, right, the, the crate's yeah. in the sea cave. Another hour, we'll be Um... Uh... This seems dangerous. Excuse me, I'm done for. Yay. I guess um, now we know why it's called Danger on Deception Island, right? Yeah. Um. So the smuggler is out here. How do they know about all this, though? I, I mean, they have the stolen notebook, but how do they... it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. Oh. I wonder what's in those. Those look like animal furs. Okay. Uh. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Uh oh. Well, well, boss said you might be joining us. I think that's a fail. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so go this way instead. It's more hidden, I guess. Uh, okay. Um. Shh, you hear something? Uh oh. Hold it right there, Missy. Uh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, um. Okay, so second chance. Uh, go in here. Hide around. behind the boxes. Go there, and then go there now? Okay. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda nut job to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'm going down here now. Better than being up there where I'm spotted, I guess, right? Yeah. Hey, that's... That's the orca. The orca I saw before. So they're definitely using it to smuggle stuff from the ship. Right, because the scuba gear and everything, the tanks and the mess and blah blah blah. 
Haiti? Oh my gosh. Ah, so she was kidnapped. Oh. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. What happened? How did you get Nancy, you, are you... I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up, and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. Shh. Listen. Someone's coming. Hide. Hide. Shh. Uh, I don't know where exactly. Boxes. I... Okay. Does that count as hidden? I, well, I, I guess. But know I know. Nancy. We're like, right, wait, that, yes, he should be able to see us. I know. Hey, no, wait, that that's that's Andy, isn't it? Well, it? Is it? Here, she's already here. All right, where are you? Nancy. If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. Somebody stop her. Uh. Well, I'll just, oh. oh no, I'm trapped. Jump in the water. Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and uh, I told yeah, we totally Jenna, did. if anything happens totally. to me, they'll know <laughs> you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident, or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll Why do. Why is that him? It was pointing like it was supposed to be Katie or Holt yeah. or e even Jenna to a certain extent because you have the thing to hide, right? Yeah. What did you do that for? Say good night, Nancy. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Nuts. Nuts. What? That was so cheesy. Way to go, buddy. Okay, so I knocked him out, I guess. Uh, what about the other three up top? Yeah, what about the whole crew? You know, the... Oh. Wait, how... What? Okay. Dear Ned. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. So whole... Jason, the okay. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then he made it look like the whale was an orphan so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail. Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever. Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all. The orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans. And I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left, I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you know who saying goodbye. Also, how did you figure out how to throw the? Was the whale still there, and that's why you were like, uh, whatever? Yeah. Just I, I just I saw it. I picked it up. I threw it in, and he was like, okay, that was random, but whatever. I'm gonna choke you out now, I guess. And then the whale well, knocked him back and smacked and, him in the face. And he was like, nuts. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Also, wait, but we didn't have any proof. How did Holt get the Coast Guard out there with his boat and everything? Well, he's also running for mayor, so maybe he uses, like, political influence. I, I guess, but he was all like, there's nothing out there. I'm not going out in this weather, and neither you should you if you know what's good for you. Right, so... And then know. Jenna was like, yeah, if you go talk to Andy, he's got a boat. Maybe he'll take you. So why would he suddenly change his mind and want to... I don't know. I don't know. This one... I, I, it, I, I, uh, okay, now that we've beaten it, I will say this one's kind of weak. The puzzles were tedious. The the, the twist villain... Yeah. Uh, I feel like Haiti honestly, would have made more sense. Haiti would have been a bit of a... Holt, even, I think, would have been, like... Like, Holt was obvious, and it's never the obvious one. Yeah, but equally, what if it was? Yeah. You know, I feel like some of these cases should be a little bit easier to kind of perceive like that. He didn't have any indication that he had anything to do with any of this. The only connection he had was the fact that there was one of the trap doors from the tunnel. There's no the... trap doors going to Whale World. I thought that he, the camping gear thing was his 
was Whale World. What was it not? Or was that a different store altogether? That, we that was a different store. Got? That was a different store. Oh, like a hardware we just never yeah. bought. Yeah, we never went into that store. Okay. The Magellan hey, Award for going over seeing Ever been to a ranch? <gasps> Wait, is this Shadow Ranch? It's in Arizona. Oh, oh it's this one. Shadow. It's the uh, Secret of the Sh Shadow Ranch or whatever, right? Uh -huh. This is the one that has all the Native American stuff in it that I was telling you about. Yeah, I, I, I mean, cool. I just. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Great effects. The secret of Shadow. There's a lot of secret things in there. The secret of the Scarlet Hand, the secret yeah. of, you know. It, yeah. <laughs> That's not even necessarily a complaint, just like a Andrew just didn't really use that yeah. often. Well, whatever. Um, okay, that was Danger on Deception Island. Uh, the first time playing through and whatnot, I actually did have a really good time with it. I did. I still think the I, things were tedious, like the puzzle, especially her email, Hilda's email, telling yeah, me yeah. To, to, to find those coordinates. That one was, that one sucked. Yeah, Hilda, you can go fuck yourself for that one. But. The thing with the transmitter and whatnot, where we got all those coordinates with the the left, right, left, right bullshit. That one's just, not so bad. If, just this, to go get the binoculars so we could go to the fucking store to look at the sails on a ship. The problem, the problem with those tunnels, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that the directions were hard to follow because we actually managed to find the correct location each time. It's a, the problem is is that we thought it was going somewhere when it was just to look at the wall that had yeah. the coordinates on it. Because mm -hmm. each time we got to that exact dead end, we thought we did something wrong. So we would turn around and go back and try to fix whatever we did. And then we would get back to the exact same dead end and be like, what, what, what are we doing wrong? But no, we had to look at we that specific yeah. dead end to find the coordinates. We were doing it right the whole time and yeah. just didn't know it. Well, it's because it never gave us any indication we were. Yeah. Because we had to actually click on the wall. But who would think to do that? I Because I I, we would think... You would it's think another would, dead end. Oh, yeah. crap, we went the wrong way. Exactly. Missed it. Yeah. But no, it was supposed to go to that specific dead end to give you the picture with the coordinates for a waterproof transmitter hidden underwater that leads you to another box yeah. hidden underwater with yeah. a pair of binoculars with spatial lenses on it so you can go look at the stupid model book. This whole thing is so convoluted. The fact we even managed to solve the case is a mirror. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez! Like this, this probably has one of the loosest like plot connections I have ever seen. I still don't know why Andy was the twist villain. I don't either. Like, if what motivation? I guess he was just a smuggler. And then that was, but, but I mean, he owned a, a legit operation. So yeah, why? Where he, from the sound of it, made a decent amount of money doing yeah. his thing. Matter of fact, he wanted to hire Katie because he was, could pay her more. Yeah, to go out and do the whale watching tours. Yeah. So why he, is he? He could have up? just run a legitimate business. Also, why he didn't even know anything about it himself. He's he he or someone got a hold of that notebook and then he hired the smugglers to go do all this for him. Why wouldn't he have been like, hey guys? I found this, like, even if he would have went public with it, I don't think anybody would have even really been upset with him. It's because he kidnapped Katie to do all of this and cocked up this weird, crazy plan and didn't tell anyone about it. Well, I'm pretty sure... Like, if he was like, hey, guys, I think I might have found coordinates to an old shipwreck. Right, but he would have to do it on the books to do that. I think he wanted to probably do it off the books and, like, make a lot of money off of whatever was found in the books or something. Well, he could have done it off the books if he just... Didn't bother with the whole weird smuggling thing. Yeah, but he could have. There's a whole like, uh, I don't know if it's international, but I'm pretty sure there's an international society of like, explore like sea explorers or whatnot that you know talks about the shipwrecks and stuff that they come across. But you see, archaeologists can come out and take a look they, at the, But you see, if they found treasure in them and they did it like through the system, or whatever, it would have to be public domain or whatever. But he wants a treasure for himself. <sighs> Which I mean, I, I guess, but. I can't imagine animal fur, no matter how luxurious or old it might be, could sell for terribly much unless it's to like private collectors or like a museum or something. Like, how much could he cause you expect to actually get out of it if it's just animal fur? I don't know. Maybe the black market has like the higher prices for that kind of thing or something. Why? If you want a fur coat that badly, go to a, a decent like luxury clothing store. And you'll get it for significantly cheaper than you'll probably find on the black market. Let's shrug. We'll see you on the next it one, maybe. Good. The Secret of Scarlet Ranch, right? Uh, Shadow Ranch. Shadow Ranch, thank you.
So, out of hand. Right, right. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.